This is Halime Adam Moussa. She's one of the 60,000 Sudanese refugees who have fled Sudan for Chad since the war broke out on April 15. For her, it's a repeat journey. The first time was in 2003, when she fled her village of Tidelti in Sudan's western region of Darfur. In the past, we lived peacefully on our crops of cereals, peanuts and vegetables, which we sold on the local markets to provide for our needs. We lived like this until the Arab militias came and turned everything upside down by driving us into exile. A mother of seven, she spent six years in a refugee camp in Chad before being allocated a small plot of land to farm. She went back to Darfur in 2020. Now, the fighting in Sudan has forced her to flee again. She shares her meager resources with her children and grandchildren who fled to Delta with her. If you have land, even if you have no money, you can sell your produce to survive. But when you have nothing, you suffer. Chad was already struggling to cope before the latest influx of Darfuris. The country has one of the worst hunger problems in the world. In total, 2.3 million people in Chad are in urgent need of food aid. More than a third of its children under five are stunted. The United Nations World Food Programme issued an urgent appeal for $162.4 million to help feed them. The organization warns that without more funding, food assistance for refugees and Chadians risks drying up.